I'm Debbie Fleshman. I'm a nurse practitioner at Alliance Express Urgent Care in Covington. We are currently available to test anybody with symptoms of fever, fatigue, cough, shortness of breath, sore throat, or any symptoms that are concerning for COVID-19, flu, or strep. Welcome to the 64th edition of the Journal's That Was the Week That Was show, or what's happened in the Highlands area this week. Let's get started. A candlelight vigil was held for the Coochie family last Saturday evening at the restaurant's parking lot, praying for their health as a result of some recent illness challenges. Reverend Bill Hartsfield led those in attendance in prayer. AR Coffee and Sons continue to make good progress on the $4 million plus Lomar Bridge project. It should be completed by summer's end. The Covington City Council has proposed a next fiscal year $19 million budget with no tax increase planned. Water and sewer rates will increase a dollar each per month. Best of all, the city's meals and personal property tax receipts appear to be rising as well. And in Clifton Forge, there will be no tax hike this next fiscal year either. City employees will get a 2% pay hike. The Covington School Board recognized some art winners, some teachers of the year, and a state champion pole vaulter at its Tuesday meeting. Board Chair Tamala Preston urged parents and students to take advantage of the Covington High School's Make Up Wednesday program, available to all students. The City of Covington went on a pothole filling blitz this week, filling in more than 100 potholes with about 10 tons of asphalt. Covington Fire Chief Andrew Baker expressed some of his department's concerns in a brief presentation on Tuesday night at the City Council meeting. Soft billing and radio issues seem to be at the top of his list. Allegheny County will not raise real estate nor personal property taxes next year, but will increase water and sewer rates $1 each per month. There will be several planning and utility related fee hikes, however. County employees will also get a 5% pay hike. 23 of the 31 individuals recently indicted by an Allegheny County grand jury for more than 70 drug related offenses have been arrested as a result of Operation Pipe Dream. The journal has a video of them all on its Facebook page right now. DSLCC held two of three segments of its commencement exercises on Thursday and Friday. A third Saturday event is planned this morning to round out the socially distanced commencement trio of sessions. The Covington Hot Springs Rotary Club has teamed up with VDOT to promote better mowing practices at the agency's many public areas like rest stops and ramps statewide. The Journal has posted a video on its Facebook page about those efforts. And thanks for joining us today for our 64th show in this series. With more than 12,948 Facebook followers now, your readership is very much appreciated. See you right here again next week. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service.